Hey guys, it's Misty with My Paper Cuts, and I'm coming on with another card share today. For these cards, I had picked up these stamps from Whimsy. I actually picked them up at one of the local paper crafting stores, and they are meme stamps, which I think are hilarious. So there's meme FYI and meme people, and there's the numbers. The FYI is the girl where you can see more of her body with the dress. And then just the upper one with the really disgusted look on her face, which is pretty much mine all the time. Uh, this one is the meme people. And I'll hold those there for a minute so that you can see the sentiments that I didn't use on today's cards. And then I used this paper pad. Um, I'm going to make a separate video with how I store my 6x6 paper pads and kind of my my challenges to myself recently, but this paper pad I picked up at another local paper crafting store. Uh, she hosts a yard sale once or twice a year, and she lets local crafters who would like to sell their unused or unwanted craft supplies, they come in and set up tables, and then whatever they sell, they get store credit. So they can unload the things that they no longer want, and they can buy a whole bunch of new stuff. So it benefits the owner of the scrapbook store as well as the sellers and then we get some really great bargains. So at the last one that I went to, I picked up this Prima pad. It's from 2012. It's called, um, well, it's either Doodle Do or Doodle Do. Probably, I don't know. Uh, anyway, <laughs> these colors are, they just reminded me so much of these types of images that like that retro, uh, snarky desktop calendar girls with all the wonderful sayings. Um, it, these colors just reminded me of that vibe. So um, that wonderful appliance color that everybody had back then. And then of course the coral tangerine and then that really nice blue. Um, so I thought that this would fit and I thought the artwork also kind of lended itself to that, that retro vibe, very doodled but bold colors um the florals of course I, it just reminded me so much of the the look that i was going for with these snarky girls so i'm going to start with the cards i made with this but they i did them both very similar um, i stamped these a whole bunch of times because i was super excited because i couldn't decide on the different sentiments i couldn't decide which ones i wanted to use so i settled on four of them so what I did was I stamped a bunch in this one and in this one, and I colored half of them of each in the blue color and half of them in the coral color so that I could have four different cards ultimately, but I did a stack of each. So we'll start with what I did with this one because I did use a little bit different supplies on each one. So for this stamp, I did this card and this card. So I did the you people and then I pulled out the your crazy is showing you might want to tuck that back in. So I put a base layer of the pattern paper down on my card and then I cut a little bit larger of a white panel with a uh, stitched rectangle die and I uh, die cut the inside of that panel with this set from Whimsy Stamps. It is called Wavy Pierced Rectangles. And it does do the piercing again on both the inside and the outside. So if you use it to cut a panel, you'll have a, a nice stitch detail around the edge of the panel. But if you wanna cut out a frame, for instance, you'll have still have the, the pierced effect on the outside of the frame, which I absolutely love. So let me give you a quick gander at that. It's probably hard to see. And then I embossed it with this embossing folder from Paper Studio. It's just large dots. And you wanna make sure that you do all your die cutting first before you emboss something. Because um, if I had embossed this and then ran it through to cut out the center, the die cutting machine would have smashed all the embossing. So um, just make sure you do that in the right order. I'm sure you all know that, but I like to mention these things. <laughs> Um, so that frame is popped up on black foam. And then as I, when I colored this, I colored the image on Spectrum Noir marker paper with my tri-blend markers. It was really simple coloring, especially with those tri-blends. And she is also popped up on the same black foam so that 
there's there's just really cool dimension to these cards. And then the sentiment I stamped out and I cut those out with these Spellbinders um, Conversation Bubble. This is number one, which is more rectangular. And this is number two, which is the square version. And they're just conversation bubbles with stitching. I love these. And then I hand cut around the sentiment on all of them. And I had first I had glued down the conversation bubble onto a scrap of one of these holographic papers. I picked this up at Joann's. Um, I have an addiction to holographic paper, so I pick this up almost every time I go, especially when paper pads are on sale. Um, it's a it's across the top. Um, on they're usually these ones are hanging up on the on a hook above the twelve by twelve paper pads. Um, I know sometimes some people miss them, but they also have really good selection of like the glitzy papers with the glitters and such. Um, but this hollow one is perfect because really you don't need a lot of holographic papers. So having a six by six pad with all of these patterns is nice because you just need a touch of it. And this is a lot of paper. So there's that. Um, so I, I cut those out. I just hand trimmed around it, you know, just leaving a little bit of a border of the holographic. And then I, on these ones, and on some of the other ones, I used these um, gemstones that I had picked up at some point from Hobby Lobby. These are just so pretty and the colors were perfect for these cards. And since I had popped everything up on foam, it left lots of room so that these, um, even though they're really chunky donks, they, they uh, definitely aren't popping up too far because the whole card has dimension. So that's what I did with the um, first set. So I'll show you my card pile with each of those. So you can kind of see some of the different pattern papers too that I used. And then I used that orange. And then on this one, I kind of used a different mix of the background papers. pretty blues and the more cream colors, but I really wanted that orange to pop. So that's what I made with the first stamp. And then the second stamp, I did the exact same thing, um, but I did use a little bit different, um, a couple of little different supplies. So I did the exact same process, but instead of cutting out um, the this with the wavy frame, I used this set from Simon Says, and it's a stitched rectangles, but it has stitching again on the inside and the outside. So again, when you use it to cut a frame, you can get the stitches either side. So it's, it's really nice. That's another set I use a lot. And then I, I use this embossing folder instead. And this one has a combination of large and smaller dots. So just, just to mix it up a little bit. Um, and then the two sentiments that I used on this girl were, I'm out of the medication that makes me like you. <laughs> and am I the only one running out of people I like? Um, so that is those. And I'll show you. Here's the people I like set. And... I only did a handful of the I'm running out of the medication that makes me like you um, just because I don't know. I, I felt like it was a little bit meaner, <laughs> but I still loved the sentiment. So um, on some of those, you may have noticed, I also did use just some enamel dots. Um, I wanted to, there's a couple I want to mail out and, um, I thought at first that I needed it to be really, really flat. And then I realized how much dimension was left. So that's when I got the, the larger ones out um, just because I could use them. And I've always wanted to, cause I think they're so pretty, but there you go. That is my card share for now. And I will be back with a video in a few minutes showing you how I store all my six by six paper. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.